Welcome to MATLAB. Today, you're on your journey to discover percentage increase and decrease of a number by using models. You will deduce patterns to make solving problems easier. Remember, percent is a ratio that compares a number to 100. Thus, percent means per 100. 53 out of 100 is equal to 53 percent. 67 percent means 67 out of 100. Percentage increase and percentage decrease are measures of percentage change, which is the extent to which a variable gains or loses its value. Today, you are provided with a lab observation sheet. Look carefully at your lab observation sheet. There are a number of 10 by 10 grids. Each 10 by 10 grid has 100 small squares. One small square represents 1 out of 100, which is nothing but 1% or 0 0.01 in decimal form. If I shade 10 squares, it represents 10 out of 100, which is 10% or 0 0.1 in decimal form. What does this figure represent? I have shaded 30 squares. Is it not 30 out of 100? That is 30% or 0 0.3 in decimal form. If the entire 10 by 10 grid is shaded, it represents 100 out of 100 which is nothing but 100% which is also equal to 1. Now, to increase 1 by 20%, you will shade one entire 10 by 10 grid to represent 1 and 20 squares in the second grid to represent 20%. What is your answer? Is it not 1 plus 0 0.2 which is nothing but 1.2. Is 1.2 greater than 1? Have we increased 1 by 20%? Let us now increase 1 by 60%. Shade one whole 10 by 10 grid and 60 squares. In the second grid. What does this represent? Is it not 1 plus 0 0.6? That is 1.6. Can you find a pattern when 1 is increased by some percent? When increasing 1 by 25% equal to 1.25? Now, suppose we need to decrease 1 by 30%, then shade one whole 10 by 10 grid using one color and remove 30 squares using any other color to represent 30 percent. Count the number of squares you are left with. We are left with 70 squares. So our answer is 0 0.7. Is 0 0.7 less than 1? Have we decreased 1 by 30%? Is 0 0.7 the same as 1 minus 0 0.3? Let us now try to decrease 1 by 20%. So shade one whole 10 by 10 grid using any one color and remove 20 squares using any other color to represent 20%. Count the number of squares you are left with. Is it not 80 squares? So our answer is 0 0.8. Is 0 0.8 the same as 1 minus 0 0.2? Will decreasing 1 by 25% be equal to 0 0.75? You are just about to discover patterns and hence rules when a number increases or decreases by a certain percent. Have 
fun discovering percentages.